Welcome to a brand new and highly requested series here on the channel which focuses on the photo mode within Horizon Zero Dawn and where I'll be sharing my tips and techniques to capture in those perfect shots. So to begin I'll be going through some of the things that I do in every photo mode session. Don't forget to hit the like to show your support and let's go. Let's start with finding inspiration. If like me you spend a lot of time in the game I find most of my inspiration comes from exploring the world due to the vast environments. Anytime I find myself stopping to take in my surroundings, I'll jump into photo mode and see if there's anything I can come up with. Or if you're on social media, there are a ton of weekly and monthly themes that are run by members of the community or game developers. Whether or not you decide to post them to social media, they are great starting points if you're struggling for inspiration. Now looking at the photo mode settings, the first thing I do is change the vignette, which is the shadowy border you can see around your shot. Vignette is typically used to close in and draw attention to the centre of your shot, but for most of the time I turn this off to brighten up my shots. Now when you go to this setting you'll see it's already turned off, but you can still see the shadowy border. So to get rid of this you want to turn the vignette on, and you'll see the intensity is set to 100%, and you want to turn this down. You can play about with this setting to find something you like, but for me I turn it all the way down to 0%, and you should notice your shot brighten up quite a bit. This setting also saves automatically, so you won't need to do this every time you open photo mode. I find that in a fair few of my shots I make Aloy hide her weapons. One way to get rid of the weapons on her back during photo mode is to go to the menu and unequip them, but this isn't always ideal if you want to get back in the action quickly after taking a shot. So what I do is I bring up the weapon wheel to make her hold a weapon, open photo mode, and when you change her pose, the weapon disappears. You can take the shot that you have in mind and get straight back to taking out those machines. Next up is a technique I use quite a lot when I want to create a sense of movement or action by slowing the game down. You can do this by bringing up the weapon wheel as it slows the game down so you can better time when to enter photo mode to capture the exact moment. This is great to use if you want to capture movement with Aloy's hair like when she's running or it's windy. You can also use it to capture some amazing moments during machine fights. I really love using this technique as it allows me to pinpoint the exact moment I have in mind. Another small thing I look out for and isn't necessary all the time is the rocks that appear when Aloy walks or runs. I'll wait a little bit before going into photo mode so the rocks disappear, but these details are amazing for those action shots. Something I always do is see if I can get any more shots without coming out of photo mode. If you're taking a landscape shot for example, try adding Aloy back in. Change the angle or the tilt, try zooming in or out, or play about with the depth of field. The main thing is that you just experiment. You may find a shot that you like even more than the original one you were going for, or you could create a whole set just from going into photo mode once. Every photo mode session I take a lot of photos. <laughs> Sometimes the same shot but in different filters or a slight change in depth of field or time of day. Even shots that I'm not too keen on because I would prefer to take them, look at them on my PC and delete later if I don't like it rather than wishing I had taken it as the chances of you getting that exact shot again is very unlikely. You may be able to get close but it will never be exact. For example, you may have seen this watch a shot before but I knew at the time of capturing it that it's very unlikely I'll get this shot again. So I took one in every filter that I liked, took them with different depth of fields, so they were both in focus, some only have Aloy in focus, and some only have the Watcher in focus. I then went through and kept the shots that I liked the most and deleted the rest. 
So that's why I say just capture everything, as you can always delete it later if you decide it's not what you wanted. If you do decide to post your captures to socials, feel free to tag me or use the hashtag TheUndeadLens on Twitter and Instagram, or you can post them in the VP section of my Discord. I really hope this video helped some of you and if it did, please leave a like and subscribe to keep up with the series. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any specific techniques or how-tos that you want me to cover or feel free to share your own tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in the next one. Goodbye!